Focus. Hey there guys, it's Mike the Old and Average Gamer. And today I'm going to show you how to fix the issue you have if you're downloading the software. So, you've got your keyboard, you've brought it home, you've unpacked it. <coughs> Excuse me. You've unpacked it, you've plugged it in. The RGB lights are flickering everywhere, you're loving it, it's looking good. And you go to download the software, like so. And get rid of this. You download the software and you get this. The file does not have an app associated with it for performing this action. Please install an app or if one is already installed, create an association in the default app setting page. Now, no matter what you do, you cannot download this app, um, install the app. It's a pain in the bum, but I have found out a way to do it. So what you're gonna need to do just minimize your window a little bit like that so it's, uh, so you can see a bit of your desktop get grab your file that's left click and pop it onto the desktop just get out of the way a second I'm going to get rid of that and what you're going to want to do is just pop it in documents so we're going to left click and hold on to it pop it into your documents like so it's now in documents you can see it just here and then you'll want to go to the Microsoft Store and download yourself this. One second. Go want to go and download this 7-zip file manager unofficial. Okay, so we've got our 7-zip installed. You click on it, install, it takes two seconds. So now what you're going to want to do is go to your programs, find your 7-zip file manager, open that up. As you can see, it's there. I got the pro version. I was trying that out, see if that worked. But there we go, there's the one we're after. DK61A, double click on that one. And now as you can see, we have this symbol here. This means we can download. Um, Windows protects your PC, don't worry about this. It is actually okay. Press more info and run anyway. Your computer will prompt you, are you sure? You want to use that and it will make changes to your computer yes click next click next click next and it should install there we go it takes two seconds it's now appeared on the desktop up in the top left hand corner here it's quite a dark one so i'm going to move it over so you can see it like so press on finish and that is the program installed and there is not all its glory so that is the easiest fix I have found. I have never found one on YouTube, so I thought I'd just put one out there for you guys. So if you like the video, please help me by pressing the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and have a great day.